The bathysphere is considered the world's first deep-sea exploration vessel designed to withstand immense pressure and allow researchers to descend to great depths in the ocean. Despite its technological advancements, it is also a very dangerous vessel that highlights the risks of deep-sea exploration, as seen in the tragic accident of Titan's submersible, which claimed the lives of five people, as depicted in my previous video, you may watch it later by clicking on the link provided at the top of this video. Join me until the end of the video as we delve into the history of the very first test of the bathysphere. In the early 1930s, William Beebe and Otis Barton were determined to explore the depths of the ocean marking the first time that a marine biologist observed deep-sea animals in their native environment. Beebe was a zoologist who was fascinated by the deep sea, and Barton was an engineer who was interested in developing new technologies for underwater exploration. Together, they designed and built the bathysphere, a spherical steel diving bell that could withstand the pressure of the deep ocean. It was made of cast iron and had a diameter of just under 5 feet. It weighed 5,000 pounds and it was tethered to a research ship by a 3,500-foot-long steel cable. The cable was used to control the bathysphere's descent and ascent, as well as to provide power for the bathysphere's lights and instruments. It had a telephone line developed by Bell Laboratories so that BB could communicate with the surface, and a floodlight so that he could see the ocean floor. It had two 8-inch fused quartz portholes for viewing the ocean floor. In 1930, the bathysphere was launched from Bermuda. BB and Barton conducted a series of dives for a total of 65 dives in the Atlantic Ocean, reaching a record depth of 3,028 feet in 1934 and which was the deepest anyone had ever gone at the time. Once the bathysphere reached the desired depth, they would use a telephone line to transmit their observations and descriptions of what they were seeing to the team, where scientists would take down notes and illustrate these sea creatures, who would then relay their descriptions to the public through radio broadcasts and newspaper articles. They saw strange and wonderful creatures that had never been seen before, including giant squid, jellyfish, and fish with bioluminescent skin. BB hired Gloria Hollister and several other women to join and help the team. Hollister set the world record for the deepest dive undertaken by a woman. She was responsible for collecting and preparing specimens of deep-sea fish and made significant contributions to the field of fish osteology, the study of fish bones. The bathysphere's dives were groundbreaking for their time. They helped to pave the way for future deep-sea research and opened up a new world of discovery. The bathysphere's design also inspired the development of later deep-sea submersibles, such as the Alvin. The bathysphere's dives were a major achievement in the history of ocean exploration but the tragic accident of Titan's submersible shows that we must never take safety for granted and shows that the ocean is still a dangerous place.